Reverend Father, give the blessing. Blessed the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this holy church, and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our holy father, Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Milan, for the venerable Presbyterian the Diacon in Christ, and all clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For favorable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. O Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above understanding, merciful without limits, O loving us, O beyond expression, look with compassion on us and this holy church of Master, and show us and those who pray with us riches your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is your glory, honor, worship, now and ever, and forever.
Wisdom be attentive. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. Bring to the Lord, you sons of God. Bring. 
sing to the Lord, glory and honor. Epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I beg you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to agree in what you say. Let there be no factions, rather, be united in mind and judgment. I have been informed, my brethren, by certain members of Chloe's household, that you are quarreling among yourselves. This is what I mean. One of you will say, I belong to Paul. Another, I belong to Apollos. Still another, Cephas has my allegiance. And the fourth, I belong to Christ. Has Christ then been divided in two parts? Was it Paul who was crucified for you? Was it in Paul's name that you were baptized? Thank God I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius. So there are none who can say that you were baptized in my name. Oh, and I baptized the household of Stephanus. Beyond that, I am not aware of having baptized anyone else. For Christ did not spend, send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wordy wisdom. However, lest the cross of Christ be rendered void of its meaning. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To proclaim your mercy in the morning and your faithfulness throughout the night. Reverend Father, who is the proclaimer of the gospel of the Holy Apostle in Evangelist Matthew. May God, through the prayers of the Holy, glorious, illustrious Apostle Evangelist Matthew, grant that you proclaim the word of his great power for the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Let us be attentive. At that time when Jesus saw the vast throng, and his heart was moved with pity, and he cured their sick. As evening drew on, his disciples came to him with the suggestion, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they may go to the villages and buy some food for themselves. Jesus said to them, There is no need for them to disperse. Give them something to eat yourselves. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and a couple of fish. Bring them here, Jesus said. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. He took the five loaves and two fish, looked up to heaven, blessed and broke them, and gave the loaves to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the people. All those present ate their fill. The fragments remaining, when gathered up, filled twelve baskets. Those who ate were about five thousand, not counting women and children. Immediately afterward, while dismissing the crowds, Jesus insisted that his disciples get into the boat and precede him to the other side of the lake. Glory to Jesus Christ. When we study these works of holy teachers of the spiritual life, we can easily find that they give us a really long list of spiritual laws. What I call spiritual law is something which came out from their experience. They were trying to do something to follow in some way gospel and they found some kind of mechanism that if I do this, this happens. If I don't do this, this happens. They really were, they, they carefully watched their life and they were sensible to all these changes which were coming to their lives. And because of that, they were able to formulate some kind of principles or spiritual laws which were tested by many, thousands, thousands of saints. And now it is given to us as some kind of treasure of wisdom which should help us to live our spiritual life in a good way, easier way. And today I would like to offer you one of these, these many spiritual laws. This spiritual law is given to us through St. Isaac the Syrian, his icon is on his side, and the biggest teacher of spiritual life. And he says, if you give up small things, 
you will be able to receive big things. If you give up small things, you will be able to receive big things. It's pleasant law because it gives us hope to obtain big things from God. But we have to remember that these big things according to spiritual law, these big things are coming when we give up small things. So what are those small things? And when we read this work of St. Isaac the Syrian, he says, small things are those things which have no connection with God. When our, those are things which don't bring any profit to our soul and to our journey to salvation. All those things are small things. If you give up those small things and you exchange them for things which bring your attention to God and to your soul, then you, can, you are able to receive big things from God. And it is very useful for us to remember that. And especially when we look to our gospel, to this gospel, we can see fulfillment of this spiritual law in this gospel. We see people who really gave up small things. They spent day with Christ. They went to wilderness to listen his words. They gave up small things. They could spend this time differently. They could rest is in uh, some kind of laziness, comfortable of body. And instead of that, they walked. They walked long distance to this wilderness because they wanted to hear Christ. They spent day listening to Christ. And it's difficult, you know. Sometimes his sermon is a little bit longer. We already complain. But they were listening all day. They could spend this day differently. They could have fun with their friends. They could enjoy the day. They could find many activities which brought, brought some kind of comfort to their lives. They could enjoy this day in thousands of ways which would please their body and their mind. They gave up all those small things just to be able to hear God. They even gave up on their food because they didn't think even about the food. They didn't bring enough food to, to, for, for them to, to be filled with, fill or to, to, to extinguish their hunger. They gave up all small things. And what, is, what came then? They were able to receive big things. They experienced God's power, God's miracle, God's mercy, God's providence. And this must touch their hearts so much that they carried this memory of this miracle to the end of their lives. And for sure, it had influence on their lives.
when you give up small things you are able to receive big things from God and this truth is visible in life of saints if we read their lives we can see fulfillment of this principle this spiritual law in the life of those saints when I told you last Sunday about this my experience with this icon in my former parish again people gave up small things people who came to this procession people who then came to church to spend time there with our Heavenly Mother they gave up small things and they received big blessings. And this is why I'm so thankful that you accepted this invitation. And on Friday we had beautiful service and so many people came. I was so pleased on Saturday that so many people came over to pray during the day and to ask Mother of God for help. For blessing whatever our intentions were because in this you gave up small things to to be with our mother and I'm sure that you will see big things which will come to your life And you know what? I can bring this testimony that I already saw these blessings. I already saw these big things which happened in souls of several people. God is good and God wants us to be saved to have eternal life with him and this is why he asks us begs us don't become a slave of small things things which are not connected with your goal give up those things which bring temporary pleasure but doesn't bring you closer to God he asks us, he begs us give up all those not necessary things because I want to fill you with big blessings I want to fill your life with big things and everybody who remembers this spiritual law has experienced that this is the truth. It is our choice. Saints, they offer us this tested principle, this tested spiritual law. May we can live a real life with God. May we have His blessings in abundance may we have a real hope of future eternal life with our Lord Amen Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, O Lord, O mighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Uh, 
again. We pray for our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, and for our Most Reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop of Milan, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. For the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful, loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. May the Lord God remember in His kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever and forever. May the Lord God remember His kingdom, our Holy Father Francis Poporom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Milan, the entire priestly diacon Almonastic Order, our government and all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever.
for my brother Consolbrand. May pray for my Consolbrand. May Spirit Himself console us all days of our lives. May the Lord be with us and ever and forever. Amen. For the precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant His remorse, His only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and Afra in peace. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you.
Lord, let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is, it is proper and just to sing, to bless you, praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place, your dominion, for you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, ever the same, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being again, raised us up when we had fallen, left nothing undone, until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there send be few thousands of archangels, Tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six winged, many eyes, soaring up on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, We also cry out with these blessed powers, loving a master, and say, Holy are you, and all holy you, and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy magnificent is your glory. You so love your world that we gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure immaculate hands gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, he took the chills after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remember, therefore, this same command, and all is come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sin at the right hand of the second coming glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. Moreover, we offer to you this spiritual and unbody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and treat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon these gifts lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which is in this shell is the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. Therefore, those who partake of them, and bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion with the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom and confidence in the judgment or condemnation. 
Moreover, we offer the spiritual sacrifice for those who part in faith. The forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, campus ascetics, and for the just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Dato Tokos and ever Virgin Mary. Among the first, the Lord, remember, Holy Father, Francis, Papa, our most reverend, Metropolitan, William, our God, loving Bishop Milan, preserve them for all churches in peace, safety, honor us for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And grant that with one voice, one heart, we may glorify and praise the most honored, magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit, now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Asking for unity in faith and for the communi communion of the Holy Spirit, let us come with ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you Father, God of heaven and Son. Thine is the kingdom and power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all.
Through the grace, the merits, and loving kindness, only begotten Son, with me are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Holy gifts to holy people. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us.
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the Holy Spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating in awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, For you are our sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them, return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your church, to the priests, our government, and to all your people. For all generous, given, and ever perfect, give this rainbow coming down from the Father of lights, and we give glory, thanksgiving, worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
now and ever and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace, loving kindness, always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Grace, our true God, risen from the dead of mercy on us, and save us, we pray, so more pure Mother, of the holy, glorious, lustrous Apostle, our Holy Father, John Christ, so much Bishop Constantinople, of the Holy Father, and the close the patron of this church, and we pray, so of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Glory to Jesus Christ. Thank you for beautiful liturgy. Thank you, you came to pray.